Welcome to my chain plate video. Uh, this one was supposed to be a complete video of the removal and an installation of the new chain plates, but uh, one of my SD cards got messed up and I lost most of the video. So I do have a little bit of video and a few snapshots. Uh, so what I'll do is go through and explain what I did to prep and what I did in between the shots that you're seeing here. And what I did when I started to do this is I went online trying to find everything I could do to, about these actual chain plates because I've never actually pulled this type chain plate out before. And I was unable to find anything about it. So I figured that this might help somebody out there if you have the through deck style chain plates or maybe a Formosa just like this one. So the first thing I did is I removed my two main shrouds, my port and starboard on my main mast, uh, and moved them to my forward chain plates and just kind of tied them up with some, uh, with some line and made sure that they were really tight so that way I could free up these two chain plates. And then I removed the sealant from around the top side of the chain plate. Uh, once I did that I went down below and started chiseling away here and then once I chiseled everything away I can go up, go back up top, hit it with a sledge and it pops it right down through and you just pull it right back out with your hand. Uh, these right here you can see were pretty bad. You can see these little T-bolts on the back side of it and what that they did is they went into the teak rails that went down the side and there was three of them and they were completely rotted out. There was nothing left of them as you can kind of see there. Next I needed to widen the spot where I was going to put the new ones in because my new chain plates are actually slightly wider. The easiest way I found to do this was use a circular saw and then cut up as far as I could go and then just start prying this out with a, uh, with a chisel. And once you can pry as much as you can then you just chisel away the rest of it. And believe me this was some hard fiberglass. So you would definitely appreciate your power tools where you can fit them in here. Uh, and what I decided to do is go with a through bolt system this time so I'm gonna bolt my chain plates all the way through my hole so I needed something for backing and I had one and a half inches standoff from the hole that I needed so what I used was two three-quarter inch uh, oak plates and I just cut them all to fit uh, they were like two inches wide and or actually a little over two inches wide and I already had the holes drilled, my chain plates completely made, so what I did was line up my holes with the chain plates, put the uh, the back the backing on the hole, and then drilled through them, uh, and then all the way through the hole. Then I used uh, 4200 and sealed my bolt heads, pushed them through, and then just bolted these right back down. Uh, my chain plates came out really solid. I resealed the top section and then hooked up my two shrouds uh, for both of them that installed and then switched shrouds from the next two that I was going to do left and right side or port starboard side and then took them out exactly the same way and put the new ones in the same way I just showed you. There's a few areas that are really hard to get to like my aft cabin I actually had to cut through the wall to get to it. You can see it in this picture here and then there was uh, another one behind one of my shelves in my mid stateroom. Well, now they're in and they're completely solid. They worked great on our sales so far and hopefully this helped you out a little bit and sorry for this kind of crappy video this time but uh, I only had this much to work with. Uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe and have fun with your project.